Hi, this is William at Puget Systems, and I'm here to talk with you today about how to configure a workstation for Autodesk Revit. The first thing we want to talk about is the CPU. Most tasks within Revit are single-threaded or just make use of a couple cores at a time. So for standard workloads, you're best off with a high clock speed processor with only a few cores. Something like the Core i7-7700K from Intel is a great way to go. If you're doing a lot of rendering though, that is one task which will use more cores, but you don't want to lose too much clock speed. So if that's a big part of your workload, you can move up to maybe a 6 or 8 or 10 core processor, as long as you maintain a high clock speed. In terms of memory, Revit really doesn't use a whole lot. Uh, the minimum we would say is 8 gigs, although I'd be more comfortable recommending 16 or potentially 32 if you have a really large project or if you tend to run other software in the background while you're using Revit. On the video card side of things, you definitely want to stick with a card that's certified by Autodesk. It's not strictly required to run the software, but if you ever need help or assistance from Autodesk, one of the things they're going to check is what video card you're using, and if you're not using a supported card, they may not be able to help you. Currently, as of this video's recording, the supported cards include the modern Quadro P2000 through P6000 cards, which are all excellent choices for Revit. Though honestly, the 5000 and 6000 are probably overkill, again, unless you're working with extremely complex models. The P2000 and 4000 are the best choices for most folks, really comes down to your budget and how big a project you're working with. And then one thing I do want to strongly recommend, and it goes for any computer these days, not just for Revit, is a solid state drive. Solid state drives are so much faster than hard drives and also in our experience more reliable. So unless you're on a very, very strict budget, definitely go with a solid state drive. Doesn't need to be huge. Revit project files are not massive in size. Usually around 500 gigs is kind of our standard recommendation for an OS drive. You can go up or down from there if you need to though. And you can also add additional hard drives or solid state drives if you need more storage. I'll have links below this video to a couple of our specific recommendations for Revit workstations if you're curious. And you can also find a lot of information on our website about the testing we've done on Revit, as well as many other professional engineering, content creation, and scientific applications. Thank you for watching.